escalator craze is true? I thought it was a joke. <laughs> What's up with it y'all, it's E-J-O-E Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. So what we are about to get up into right now is into something by Trevor Noah. All right, another comedy special. Y'all know how we do it up over here. You know, sometimes I gotta react to Trevor. And this is for Zambaya Loves Escalators. Just don't be gay. Zambaya. I think that's how you say it. Hopefully I said it right. And if he doesn't, maybe he can correct me. Not maybe. He will correct me. All right. So Zambaya Loves Escalators. Just don't be gay. All right. So see what the hell he has to say right here. And yes, let's see what we got. See what we well, I can say we, right? Because we all about to watch this, all right? Let's see what the hell he's about to say. Let's see what we are about to watch him say. And let's hope that we enjoy this shit, damn it. All right. I did go to Zambia, though. Zambia. Fantastic place, Zambia. Went there, visited the place, had a good time. While I was there, I had a chaperone who really made my trip. His name was Ali Nani, a sweet guy. And his job was to get me accustomed to the Zambian culture, you know? And every day he would give me a new piece of information, some more interesting than others. Like one day he looks at me and he goes, Cheva, you know Zambia? Zambia is a very, very conservative nation, huh? I said, oh, okay, Ali. He says, yeah. So please, stay away from profanity. I said, oh, okay, I, I can do that, you know? And I assumed he meant swearing, right? But I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure if he meant a person or swearing. I wasn't like, no, 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 because in Zambia, people have names like profanity. So... <laughs> That's how I laughed when I met Screwdriver, eh? That's the same way I laughed. Yeah, because you see, in South Africa, we have African names you can translate, like uh, happiness, blessing, hope, those kinds of names, right? But then in Zambia, people give their names, like their children, they give their children names of everyday English words, anything. So like table, chair, car, house. Yeah, you see like this, you just have to get used to it. It's very hard, but you have to keep a straight face. Which was difficult because I met a mechanic who had sons named Break and Clutch. <laughs> and was not, especially when Break was running around causing chaos and his dad was there like, stop it, Break, stop it, Break, stop it, stop it, Break. And I was like, hey, stop it, Break. <laughs> but you have to get used to it. It's, it's a cultural thing. And so you have to respect it. And the second warning Ali gave me was even stranger. We're driving through Lusaka, the capital. And Ali looks over at me in the car and he goes, Trevor, you know here in Zambia, we are a very God-loving nation, eh? I said, oh, okay, Ali, that's a good thing to know. He says, yes. So while you are here, don't be gay. Damn, are you assuming? So what? He says, I know it can be tempting sometimes, but don't do it, huh? Don't be gay. Don't be gay? <laughs> I've never been warned of this in my life. Don't, don't be gay. Hey, bro, don't, don't be gay. Don't be gay. <laughs> Don't be gay. Crazy, crazy, crazy warning to get. But then I found out why Ali was warning me. Turns out in Zambia, being gay is illegal. If you are found to be gay, you will be arrested and sent to prison for more than 30 years. What? Yeah. Which is a bit of a weird punishment. <laughs> what? That's crazy. When you think about it. I mean, I'm not saying gay guys would enjoy prison. I'm just saying if I was gay, that's not the worst thing you could do to me. You'd be like, you're going to jail. I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> Don't be gay. I couldn't believe this. Gay is a crime in Zambia. Which got me thinking, if gay is a crime, that means the police have to monitor it. They actually have to police gay. Yeah. Which means in their police force, they have a gay division. <laughs> it's a crime. It's a crime. So that means they've got a murder unit. They've got a robbery unit. They've got a white collar crimes unit. And then they've got a gay unit. Huh? Yeah. They've got a little G unit in their police force. <laughs> That's responsible for all things gay. That must be the most fun police force to be in in the world. 
You get to go undercover, dress up really nice, get in touch with your flamboyant side, you know, just have a good time. I bet the sergeant's there every morning briefing his detectives. Good morning, detectives. Welcome, everybody. Today, we will be launching a sting operation. <laughs> we have just been informed of a fashion show that will be taking place. And as you know, the gays cannot resist the latest trends. <laughs> Therefore, we will be in full attendance to apprehend each and every one of them. Let us make sure we are here. Detective Chipua, present. Detective Table, <laughs> present. Detective Mungai, Present. <laughs> I think he's in too deep. <laughs> how, do you, how do you police gay? Do they stop you if you look suspiciously gay in the streets? You know? I mean, gay doesn't have a look, but maybe you've just got a bounce about you. Maybe you just have like a bit of pizzazz, maybe, you know? Do the police pull up there and you're like, Woo! You over there! What is the purpose of that flamboyant scarf? <laughs> Put your hands up. <laughs> Turn around. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. You are going to jail. <laughs> How do you police gay? Do they have roadblocks, like for drunk driving? Do they have gay roadblocks? Who is stopping people in their car? Good evening, officer. Good evening, sir. License, please. Thank you very much. Mr. Stylish, huh? <laughs> Tell me, sir. Have you been a gay this evening? What? Oh, no, no, no. I have not been a gay. No, no. In fact, I don't gay at all. At all. I see. Not even one or two? No, no, no. No gays for me. No gays for me. Okay. Then tell me, sir. What is that I can smell on your breath? Is that balls? Oh, my God. No, no, no. Oh, what the no, I, I don't even eat chutney. No, no. Ah. <laughs> So you are not gay? No, not gay at all. Then say, can you please blow into this? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Don't be gay. I was not gay while I was in Zambia, so I had a good time. Went around, saw the people. The highlights of my trip came when on my day off, I asked Ali for suggestions. Ali said to me, maybe you should drive around Lusaka, meet some of the people, you know, just have a good time. I said, Ali, I want to do something special. I said, ah, okay, well, in that case, maybe you can go to the mall. And if you are lucky, maybe you can ride the escalators, huh? What? So what? Yeah, I'm not promising anything. But if you are early, maybe you can go once or twice. So escalators, I know, mind-blowing, huh? I thought he was messing with me. Until I found out people in Zambia go to the mall just to ride the escalators. <laughs> Seems ridiculous till you understand the backstory. You know something's crazy? All right. A lot of times with Trevor's stuff, I listen to him. I'm like, it's funny. And I'll be like, man, I wonder if he's lying. But a lot of times I think he's like telling the truth. And you know, like how a lot of times like comedians, they'll kind of uh, 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 like kind of go overboard. I think a lot of times, I think he has his stories and he might put, like, you know, put a little bit on top of it to make it kind of funny and all that. But um, I want to look this up to see if this is true. This this does not seem true. All right. But I don't know. I might be tripping and all that. If I'm wrong, my bad. But anyways, let's get back to this, though. That was funny. He was talking about going to the mall and getting on an escalator. Like, I guess. When we were in Zambia, there were only five public escalators. Five. In the whole country. The first escalator was built in August. Yeah. Not August 19. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys remember August? August, 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 August? You guys remember that? They built their first escalators ever. Yeah. And so now it's all the rage. People go to the mall just to ride escalators. Yeah. But now, I don't want you to picture like some dusty village. That's not what Zambia is. It's a beautiful place. They're developing just as we, as we are. They've got roads. They've got airports. They've got, they've got beautiful hotels, stunning shopping malls. They've got everything we've got, even faster internet. They just never had escalators. And now they started building them. And because of that, people go there and they just spend a day riding escalators. <laughs> huh. Dads will go home and fetch their kids. Children, we are going to the mall. To do what, daddy? To do shopping. 
Ah, and to ride the escalators. Yay! We couldn't believe this, so we went to the mall, right? We get to the mall, the mall is empty. Escalators are packed. <laughs> people are standing in lines, going around, doubling back on themselves. There's old people, young people, even couples. There were couples. Guys had actually picked up women by saying, I'm going to take you to the escalator again. <laughs> like, Ooh, you are so fancy, eh? Escalators. Some people didn't even know how to ride the escalators. Kids were easy, they just jumped on. Old people would panic. There was one guy who got on the escalator and was going up. And I guess to compensate for something in his mind, as it went up, he started leaning. <laughs> he fell down. <laughs> he was hurt so badly. <laughs> oh, oh, it was fantastic to watch. <sighs> we spent like three hours doing this, just watching people riding escalators. And you know what, our patience paid off. Because in hour three, the most fantastic thing happened. A school brought a class of children to the mall and their excursion was just to ride the escalators. <laughs> was magic. 30 kids, about five years old, cutest things, wearing their little black and white uniforms. And they're standing there together holding hands and they were so excited, so they're shining, you know? Not from excitement, that Vaseline. <laughs> And there's two teachers with the children and they grab their hands on either end and in a long train, they start to march through the mall. And as they do, they start singing at the top of their lungs like little angels. Escalator, 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 oh, escalator, escalator. And it was the sweetest thing ever. People are waving at them, smiling. And these kids see the escalators and they lost their minds. <laughs> These kids went crazy. They not holding hands. They start screaming and running around. It looked like a zombie movie or something. This is like they jumping, but then you see the smiles on their faces. It looks like the end of Bro, this is so hard to believe. He has to be lying, right? <laughs> Sarafina, you're like, what the hell's going on here? These kids are screaming and having the time. They're jumping around doing cartwheels. The teacher can't control them. She's panicking like, yeah, get back, get back. Two by two, two by two. Two by two was one of the kids. I didn't know. She was like, two by two, next to me, next to me. Sing it fine, sing it fine. Other kids are still jumping. She can't control them. There was one fat kid. He couldn't jump, so he just shook himself. <laughs> It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like I had gone in a time machine to a time when escalators were new, brand new and popular. So popular that people were taking pictures of the escalators using their iPhones. <laughs> what? Chipiwa! Technology, eh? Ah, ah, ah. Who even thinks of these things, eh? Can you imagine? Hey, we are in the future now, man. Mechanically moving stairs, huh? Uh, uh, what are we going to see next? I don't even know. I don't even know. Can you, I wonder how it works. Eh? Let me just check there. Siri, how does an escalator work? <laughs> I don't know, eh? <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. I wonder if that's true, yo. If you're in Zambia, and if you guys are watching this, and if you guys are looking at me like you dumb ass, it's not true. My bad. Obviously, like this. Man, y'all let me know how you guys feel about that, man. You already know how it is, man. Trevor Noah, man, you know he's funny as hell to me. And um, y'all let me know how you guys feel, all right? So go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's Trevor Noah. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I said I'll talk to y'all later. Well, yeah, fuck it. I'll talk to y'all later, right? All right, thank y'all.